Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 10 to 4, August 18th. God, the summer's screaming by. Sunday, about 74 degrees out here. Uh, it's raining, raining here in the Hudson Valley. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys could tell the sky is all gray. I think you, you all could see some water dripping off the Cushman there. So, it's raining out. It slows things down a bit when you're not smart enough to maintain an open space to do any work but we'll uh, we'll worry about that later anyhow just a quick battery check and we'll get on to the routine flea market vlog I've never been one to buy storage units um, I've not not done that occasionally I do see sales for storage units but I, I don't do them um, this was one of those interesting deals. Guy had this toolbox and it was loaded with stuff and he said uh, it was Mark 20 and when I walked up he said I'll take 15. And I looked at him in the face and I said well I don't want to sort it. I said if uh, I think there's enough for 10 where it's a decent deal. So it's a tough stuff toolbox it says do not stand but I guess one could sit on it. And I kind of opened it up and I laid the stuff out and we'll go through some of it in a moment. I mean, this is um, like junk that's worth nothing. The um, the cylinder that goes back and forth is going to run this. I mean, you know, these are just, you, you know, though we're made in the USA. Just a few assorted screwdrivers. One of these, uh, y you know, fasten it things so I just kind of left a few things in here. a couple of drill bits that one's actually fairly sharp as it cuts my fingers when I pick it up um, the toolbox is interesting though because if I had to say I would have to say this is a mixture of grandpa's and dad's toolbox Oh, that's an interesting blade. It's got um, it's got like diamond pieces on it, front to back. Anyway, it does have a few good things, I that I left behind. I mean, this is a um, 17 millimeter SK. So yeah, there's, there's there's some decent stuff in here. There's a lot of junk. So it says Stanley, then it says Thrifty, then it says USA. Yeah, if I had to guess, this is a box. A bunch of the stuff was from um, probably the 60s and 70s. Something interesting. Whoever it was must have worked for a stop and shop. Um, there's 15 of these. I mean, the various um, colors and logos for stop and shop. And you guys, you know what these are, right? There are uh, boxes for opening boxes you know just go right along the tape line so that's that's what they do for a living he's got 15 of these your your great neck made in the USA still for great neck huh so this is a little older this was back before they made the blades retract they're actually if you're uh, kind of a professional uh, you prefer these because the blade is held better in place um, though Great Neck, even in the best of times, wasn't a great one. This is Sears. Bright yellow. This is more modern. So, that's kind of a bunch of the hand tools. Um, there was this in there. This is an old piece. The wooden handle's gone. Some assorted hardware. And some strike. This is a latch for a shed, but no striker plate. Old flyers. It's always interesting reading the stuff on them. Made in the USA. That doesn't say. I thought these were interesting. There's a few of them. Bridgeport. USA, the wooden handle. So these are these are old. Once again, Bridgeport, USA. This 
This one is it's actually worn out. Somebody used this a lot. This looks like a size you use for a telephone company. But I don't see the rest of the indications. This is another great neck, I think. So, screwdrivers. How's that? Calculating machine. Wizard. So there's your calculating machine. Scale, so you can tell fish stories. Looks like it's broken, the spring shot. This is, looks older. Warranted. I don't know who made it. It looks old, old though. That could have been grandpa's from somewhere. All the knives. Carpenter's file, big. I couldn't picture carrying that in a tool belt. Regular files. They're still sharp. Still I'm chewing on my hand. Okay. This guy, I'm not sure what the heck it is. And this slides out. It says something about wall boards. This looks like rounded, like it was hit. So, yeah, I got no clue. If anybody knows what it is, I am a tad curious. So it says wall board tools, Long Beach, California. It does seem to have mud on it, as in uh, sheetrock mud. This is mushroomed a bit. Looks like somehow that pushed down. So, and when you pushed it down, it kind of crimped things. You know what it might have been for? This might be for corners. When you're putting corners up. You know those metal metal bead corners. That what this that's what this might be for. I'm not quite sure why you would kink it. Maybe when you kink it, it forces that into the sheetrock and that makes it stay. Uh, in the land of hammers, rubber mallet looks like a decent one. Doesn't have any names or anything on it. The little hammer does say uh, wear goggles, and on this side. It actually says it's a brand name, Mako, I think. Little pry bar, the ends aren't shot. Couple of wrenches. Uh, this is an SK. That's a Williams. That's jump. Allen key. This is a ruler. It's really hard to read if you got my eyesight. Scraper for um, wallpaper. T for saw. This is interesting. This is a miniature plane. You actually tighten this nut, loosen the nut, and you. Um, it's got a razor blade in it for planing. And last but not least, it came with this grinder that I have not tested yet. So. Let's give it a quick plug in and see what we got there. I basically looked at it and said, you know, if this grinder is functional, I got my money. As I look at the toolbox some more, it looks it looks like I got more than ten ten dollars worth of crap out of it, so I should be okay. One-handed man. Yeah, the grinder looks good. Grinders are black and decker. It says printed in the United States. Doesn't say it was made here. Doesn't look like it has too many miles on it. Made in Canada. There you go. At least we got something from North America that's not Mexico. 
So this pile grinder and the toolbox, ten dollars. Um, I consider that a, a, a really a pretty good deal. I think this grinder's older. It's quite a bit heavier. It's got a different feel to it. I'd say this might be from the 70s. Made in Canada. Oh, Canada. Um, got a few subscribers up there. Love when they watch and comment. All right. Second thing I got. This box, the box itself, only the box, was $10. Um, I was, uh, well, he wanted $10. So I said, yo, the box and... The stuff in this tray I'll give you 15 for and he took it so this is 10 millimeter SK six point like that kind this is um, Alkine like that kind um, Eastco old made in the USA not overseas scrap um, I don't know why I like I kind of like this kind this is the kind that um you push push the button and the little ball goes in Um, SK made in the United States. This is the old kind that the thing slides back and forth. Chainsaw, right? Spark plugs, tightening the chain. Um, whenever I see a 10 mil millimeter, 12 meter mil millimeter, I just buy them. Uh, this is Ace 4 in 1. And this guy. Oh. This is one of those uh, crank up radio and um, emergency flashers and I think you charge your cell phone with it and all that. Anyway, so this thing, the case, and that crap right there in that pile, that was 15 Considering the ratchets I got out of the deal, that was a steal. And let me show you the radio. It's kind of cool. Just give me one second while I crank it. Okay, I cranked it. Okay. It plays. It doesn't play long. And then um, it's also got lights in the front. If I cranked it some more, there'd be more light. So that's pretty cool. It's got a little compass on it. I don't know. I guess if you're out in the woods and you get bored. With something like this, you can sit there and crank it and listen to 30 seconds of radio, then crank it some more and listen to another 30 seconds of radio. I imagine if you charged the battery up or perhaps put it on, I, that, I showed you that jack in the back. I don't know if one could feed power into it as well as, uh, as getting power out of it. Probably, right? All right. I guess it used to belong to Max and he expected a dollar for it. So, $15. And then these guys, these guys, um, the sockets, the loose sockets, there's seven of them. I paid five bucks for them. I picked them up because, like, this is a half inch drive, 6.9 millimeter. Once again, Craftsman, half inch drive. 6.12 millimeter and this is really the one I like half inch drive uh, 6.10 millimeter um, the smaller sizes are kind of hard to get this is an 8 3H drive 6 point SK is it SK? Where are we here? oh snap on excuse me so, that little pile of sockets there, this was, um, this is a 10 millimeter, but it's 12 point. I really don't like them much, but I grabbed it while I was there. 12, it's a 6 point Craftsman 12, but kind of a poorly made socket. Anyway, and the sockets were a quick 5 bucks. So I spent... Um, five for the sockets plus that makes 15 plus 15 for the box makes 30 and then $10 worth of um, I probably wouldn't call it parachute cord 
but it's fairly good stuff. I got a uh, shed project cooking in my mind, 200 foot, 316th, and that was 10 bucks. So, what did I spend? 40 bucks today. $40. All right, folks, video's getting long. Um, I got to run. Quick, quick voice here. Oh yeah, there we are. Okay, folks, live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Until then, remember, tires down, handlebars up. Don't forget to support your local flea market. Thanks for watching.